Working at Kmart brought back memories, and I spent most of the early morning hours reminiscing about being a kid. I was 23 but felt older in some ways and younger in others. I thought about aging the whole shift. I'm sure not having enough sleep had something to do with it, but I'd spend an hour every night in the Kmart bathroom analyzing my skull, trying to see if my hairline was receding or my forehead was getting bigger. I felt like my chance of going to college and being a writer was fading. I didn't know much about college, but I knew most students were younger than I was. I imagine none of them had to work the graveyard shift at Kmart just to have somewhere to go at night. For a couple months, I delivered pizzas at Kenny's Pizza Place and worked at Kmart at night. Benny would sometimes come and visit me when I got up early in the morning, and a couple of times he snuck me into the apartment he was staying at near Churchill High School. On Easter morning that year, Benny picked me up when I got off of work at Kmart. We drove around smoking weed and blasting music until the sun came up, and then went back to his apartment. I didn't know his roommates, and it was basically their place, so he said I couldn't stay, I could stay for a little bit, but then I'd have to leave. I insisted he give me a ride back to my mom's house, or at least my van at the Kmart, but he was tired. We got in an argument, and I left and didn't see him for a while. I walked from Benny's apartments to mom's backyard. About uh, Benny's apartment to mom's backyard, about 10 miles. I cursed at all the cars driving by, the sky and every blade of grass under my feet. When I came to an intersection, I saw a bum flying a sign and noticed an elderly woman about to hand him a $10 bill. I yelled out, don't give it to him, and ruined their moment. They both looked at me with disgust, and I regretted saying it the second it came out. When I had a day off, I'd go to the library and talk to the librarian. She told me it took a few months for the government to get back to some back to somebody about financial aid in college. Be patient, she told me. This was in the internet's early days and I hadn't ever even